The mood is off. I've changed my hair. No one cares. Yeah, I, care. I care. The brassy door blonde is now gone. She's slowly but surely turning into a redhead. This was just my first session, so my hair is like still a little dark. Over time, I'm gonna be a redhead. It's just time for a change. Let's just spin it up. We're trying men's clothes from Asia because men's clothes should fit us. I'm predicting no issues. Men and women generally are smaller in Asia compared to America, but if you think about it, maybe that gives us a little more hope if we try men's clothes. Obviously it's a little bit bigger than the women's clothes, so it might just like actually be like average for us. I don't know, that's why we're here. I gotta be careful because you might just fall in love with me. I don't know where I was going with this, but I just thought maybe. Maybe there might be some type of like crossover moment where I realize I should dress more tomboy. <laughs> I look like a librarian. I look like misery. Bruh. First of all, I think if you were a guy, this would be so cute on you. I mean, think about it. It has this nice... <laughs> Not me trying to sell you guys on men's clothes. It has this really nice mock neck, chokes bit. This just kind of flaps out, but that's because I have tatas. Men don't particularly have big tatas. Love this beige nude color and the holes. I mean, imagine the breathing axis you have. This could be a cute office look moment, don't you think? A little vest moment. I, I just, but then like, like I get it, I should not complain because it's not made for my body technically, but I will say it fits. It's loose. The whole purpose of this video, remember, is to test and see how the sizes fit in in Asia on a woman in America. And I say we are practically men's size there. I think there's a way you can make this vest like very sophist. Me, I don't think I can, but there are some girls who can pull it off. There are some girls who can. It's obviously not flattering on me, but like I enjoy the size and it's just like kind of crazy that this is like what a big man, a big buff man, because this is like a 2XL. This isn't no small. Cute punctures in my shirt. Definitely wear a bra underneath. Okay, let's put some pants on. This is a larger men's and it's stuck on my no, no, no ass. Listen, Linda, <laughs> it just feels so shocking and like I feel Totally, um, I need to take this to court. Look at the stretch. What stretch? Exactly. I understand they're just like tinier, but like, I'm just like double whammy shot. At least you think like there's a little bit more room trying on men's clothes, but like it's just as small. Large and men's. Men's. Did I say? Testicles, testosterone, and they're not even jeans. These are track pants. These are sweatpants. Joggers, if you must. You're supposed to have a little bit more room in this. And look at this. I don't have room in this. This is just a bigger reality call. If this is also the case for men's clothes, where do we go from here? I don't know, okay. Wait, lost. I'm not even gonna try to pull this a book. No one's home to help cut me out of these pants if I meet. This is what it's like, like. This is a male's large. Very tiny. So basically, a men's large fits a woman's medium. Small, medium. <laughs> Did I tell you that everything's gonna be on Poshmark? Get it there for like five bucks, guys. Let's try on these jeans. Oh my god, I'm truly concerned at this point. I thought I was ahead of the game. I thought I was two steps ahead. No one can clock me. So I thought. This is an extra long. She was clickly clocking two steps ahead. Uh-uh. I got a large. Of the same pair. Thinking, oh, just in case a large doesn't fit me. I'm gonna get an extra large. So you guys will actually see that I try. It's not like I'm just trying to not fit clothes. You think I want to not fit clothes? Granted, we are trying clothes from Asia. And we know the theme here. In my heart, with all my intentions, I thought I'll get two pairs. So people can see that effort I put to make sure that like this one doesn't fit but I sized up and I got a bigger one. It's deceitful. I feel deceived. What I'm noticing here is a sense of loss. This is the same experience I'm experiencing when I try on women's clothes. So are you tricking me Asia? Do women and men wear the same size pants versus here where sizes run differently for men and women? I'm being bamboozled. Getting out of the chunks. Look at the length. She look perfect. Lengthwise. Widthwise as well. They make me look a little but that's okay because that is what I am right now. I am so false. These jeans are a little bit too light for me anyway. They're not like fully denim so that it feels more like just fabric. It feels like there's a lot of foolery. Try men's clothes, try men's hats. Okay, let's put something new on. Let's first talk about this top. I was gagged. I gusted 
my gasp. He looked like he was wearing something so baggy, so loose in his muscular feel. I look like an accountant who ran his course. It's not that I want to look muscular. Hell no, no, I don't. Fuck that. The loosey goosey that you see that man in, I just thought, well, he has to be bigger than me. Either way, I just thought there might be a little bit more like bagginess. It surely conforms to my arms, my tatas, my stomach. Girl, this is not loose. <laughs> What am I doing? Why? Why am I even trying men's clothes at this point? I feel catfished by myself. Like I'm catfishing myself. My expectation. Nothing wrong with looking tomboy. I mean, this jumper would have been so freaking cute and like, but the fit up here. The collar is so big and wide. I don't like that at all. My tatas just like are freely exerting my energy. I mean, granted, there's room. Okay, there's room. There's that bagginess that we were looking for. But I was just thinking more like. Oh my god, let me put his sweater on. I'm so baby, I'm so tiny. <laughs> Don't even get me started with these pants. These are dress pants. Don't tell me I'm the only one who thought I'm gonna be so baby in these men's clothes. I mean, imagine if it was your boyfriend's clothes, right? You're like, oh my god, babe. Where are my arms, babe? Your sweater's so loose. Are you kidding? I can't even button this. And these are dress pants. I have these dress pants leggings on me. Legging. It's sucking on my cellulite. So these dress pants run like kind of short on men. So the length is fine on me. It actually fits fine. The length. The length. You see these two buttons? This part is supposed to like go over here and snap. We have a good palm size width in between. It's so tight to my legs. These are leggings. Wow. Wow. I really thought I could finesse this men's haul. Underestimated the game. So what I'm learning so far, even for men's clothes, size up two times as much. Okay, there's no like, I'm baby. Okay, there's none of that. If you wanna hurt your feelings, do what I'm doing, but if you don't, save yourself double the size. Let's just keep this going. Okay. Okay, so for this one at least, I feel a little bit like I'm baby the sweatshirt. I chose this because it has a really cute, funky, knitted detail. This little square corner. And this rectangle patch at the back. I guess this one too. Like, it's fun, right? It feels like an extra large sweater on it. I love that I can, like, scrunch it up. I'm not a huge fan, though, of this thick neck spread my neck so wide. I already have such a, like, short, stout neck. So I feel a little sensitive to this, okay? Let me look. I love how the sweater looks very patchy and the ribboning on the arms and stuff. And just to say, the sizes are not consistent because this is a large. This is what I expect. I feel like I could put a men's large on and it's actually, like, thick and wide on me. Not fitted. Not like a medium. And then these pants. Thicker, they feel like cargo. And it's a size extra large, honeydew. Like it. It fits. It's just that I can't put the button in because it's not cut yet, the little hole, to indicate that it's new. Very on the cusp, on the cusp of course. It zips, it buttons, my hips look good in them because I'm a spoiled brat. I'm just so privileged. Um, I do have a complaint. I feel like because they're so wide leg, it kind of makes me feel like my third grade teacher, Miss Sharky. But to be honest, I will take this any day over sucking to my skin. We can't even complain because look at the length. The length is nice. The length is good. We like Gucci. I mean, Gucci. I mean, they're nice cargo pants. I cannot complain. I don't know what it is, but this outfit is definitely giving me like 90s. Honestly, I think I'm still gonna put this top on Poshmark, but overall, I at least like this. Okay, let's put on this sweater. What the fuck? I'm gonna put my grandma's sweater on. So this is a 2XL. It's like a large. Who are we fighting today? I am so aggravated. Sizes are not gonna be reliable. You ought to tell me that this sweater, Grandma Faye, who posts TikToks of her name, you're telling me this is a 2XL. Us collectively here, watching this video, we're scholars. We know that 2XL equates to a large. It's just kind of difficult to swallow that pill and you're like, okay, men's and women in Asia are the same. You would just expect a little bit, a little bit of a bigger size range for men, but in the case, what you gonna do, Faye? I mean, I love the sweater color. It looks like my super shy, except mine's a little bit brighter and it's cuter. By the way, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm just realizing this. If you shop anything in the sales section on That's a Shop right now, you get a free exclusive Ivy wrap skirt. It's a floral skirt, it's yellow. Make sure you shop one thing from the sales section. It's the first 10 people who do this, by the way. So I don't even know if it's like applicable right now, but you can try. Anyway, back to this sweater. It's so, so, I mean, it's warm, it's cozy, it has like this fabric, yarny. There's no shape up here at all because I have no neck. This definitely is not gonna work for me. I'd rather just wear my sweater. But that being said, I'm not keeping that. You're gonna have it. Let's give this blouse a try. You're like, Faye, why? Why are you gonna buy things that are not realistic for you to wear? No, 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 no. Hear me out. First of all, 
There's not a lot of options of when you search up men's clothes. In the summer, imagine just wearing this on top. Completely unbuttoned. I can't because I'd be banned because I'm naked. But just imagine wearing this on with a tank or a bandeau underneath strapless top or something. Easy breezy cover girl. And you're just chilling. Like this could be a cute little over top, especially the color is so cute too. The more I look at it, the more it looks like a tablecloth. It's pretty good quality. Like for a, a outer top like this, like buy this for your man. It has like nice little vertical stripes. Very subtle, you can't run down. The sleeve's pretty long, the buttons are nice. I look like a janitor. Tighten it up. Tighten it up. Okay, come through fashion, Asa. You can even do this with a skirt. It's a very baby sage color. It covers up the Tootsie Rolls on the arms. Right now, mine are really infuriating to look at. I'm at the heaviest I've ever been. And although that comes with a lot of issues and stress, we're not gonna get into it because I'm pretty sure we will one of these days. I don't know where I'm going with this conversation. Look at this shirt that actually hides it as my zipper unzips itself. It's tomboy and edgy, but still like cute enough to wear because of the color. I don't know, do with this what you may. I thought this sweater was really cute. But then I felt it and I was not that sure. It's a loose sweater. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I just don't love this shiny texture of a sweater. But it's so cute because this side has a teddy bear. So cute. What the fuck? It's so cute. There's a teddy bear on my back. It's so cute. But again, I don't like the shiny side of the sweater. The inside of the sweater is pretty soft. Similar to this teddy bear sleeve. Oh, whatever. Okay, cute little sleeve. And then you're like... <laughs> You're carrying a baby on your back. Ah, it's so cute. I'm crying. My heart is palpitating. What do I do? What do I do? Also, the sleeves are pretty wide. The circles, it doesn't really cuff to your sleeve. I mean, it doesn't really cuff to your wrist. What do I do? I just have this like thing for sweaters that are this fabric on the outside. I gotta break this up. Sadly, it will be on my badge mark. <laughs> but it's so cute. Maybe I'll just spend a little time with it. With that being said, I have one more sweater. And here we have it. We could technically wear it out like this. I mean, it's like a sweater dress almost it's wait it's kind of cute I didn't even think of it that way as you guys can see there's this repetitive pattern of the mock neck I love the like knitted streamers going down my arms and the whole body I mean like it's not long enough to be like a sweater dress just to wear on its own out but like it kind of can be surprisingly this is like really good quality and big and stretchy and cozy comfy the arms are very loose which I like you know how they say to wear black because it makes you slim Ming. Whoa, well, this is the opposite. Like, I think I should stay away from these cream beige nude whites because it makes me look like, like a yarn ball. My back is sweating. It's crap. This would fit my 6'2 boyfriend. It has to. It will because I'm making it. Why? Because this quality is so nice. You would assume that this fabric is a little bit itchy on the inside, but it's not at all. It's super silky smooth. It's so limey almost. I mean, can I be mad? It feels like a men's sweater on me. An American US tan. So I like it. I like this. And that is it. Overall, I think the lesson here is that if you're going to shop in the men's section, don't have your hopes up as if you're shopping in the men's section in America because the sizes are very, very, very still similar. Just because you're shopping in the men's section does not mean you're going to find yourself a loosey goose. I think that's just the reality of it. We just have to accept it. But that's it for our men's haul. I don't think it's gonna happen again. See you in the next one. Love you. Bye. Tell me what you do on a Sunday. Afternoon.